Welcome back to Chaos Collectibles. All right, so today we're going to take a look at and do a direct comparison of the Zolo World Wolf Warrior figures. All right, so the Wolf Warrior was actually a Warrior Beast figure from the 1980s Remco line. I used to have one. I don't anymore. I regret selling it. So we're going to start with the original Wolf Warrior. I want to say this is Series 2, Warrior Beast figures. I could be wrong, and if I am, somebody please correct me. This is Zolo World, Series 2, because Series 1 did not have one. Wolf Warrior figure. Very cool. like this bad boy. So the, what makes this different than the original is Zolo World revamped the bodies. Make them a little better, right? Arms look better. There's no cuffs like the old school had. And they all had a flat butt, right? Because they used the same mold, pretty much, as the snake man that actually had a, a peg in the back to hold the tail. But the rest of them didn't have the peg. It was just flat right there. Most of them. Um, this is Series 1. Now, he does kind of have a, ten, a tan head, which doesn't match the body too much. I wish that would have been a little bit different, but that's all right. It is what it is, right? It is a cool figure, though. And then, an exclusive Zolocon, maybe? I'm not sure. But I ended up buying the original, the Paint Master. Yes, I paid through the nose for the Paint Master. I ended up selling it. I wished I didn't because it was actually the first Zolo World wolf figure in a while. From a Zoloverse show before this one here was even released. And it was this guy, Grizzle Wolf. I had the original Paint Master done by Mike Zolotoro's mom, Jean Zolotoro. Had the certificate of authenticity, ended up selling it. Regretted it immediately after, but this is the Grizzle Wolf. I like this guy. Pretty freaking awesome. Has a, I believe this is removable. I'm not sure. I haven't tried to take it off. I'm just going to leave it on there. Looks awesome. I like the darker color of this guy. Then we have the Slimed Drones Grizzle Wolf. So as you can see, same body, same paint, same head, same club as the original Grizzle Wolf. However, he has the pelt from this Grizzle Wolf. Right? Pretty freaking cool. Like this guy. Just got this one not too long ago. And then, another Slime Drones, Shadow Wolf. This one is freaking awesome. Translucent smoke. I think this one came with a translucent clear club. But I ended up getting one of this. This on the, I got this on a Zoloverse show. And then I got this later. Translucent smoke. Which I like better with this guy. Matches perfect. Red eyes. Club. Very cool figure. Very flipping cool. So we'll compare him with the original. Compare him with the Grizzle. And then we will show you with this guy. Slime Drones Grizzle. All right. Very cool figure. Then we're moving on to Wave 4. Realm of the Underworld. Not even Warrior Beast.
Snow Wolf, I believe is the name. This one's got blue eyes, white head, white pelt, white pelted boots, but this one is completely flocked. Everything but the head on this guy is flocked. First, flocked and pelted, 5.5 action figure ever made. Very awesome figure. I should have turned my light on before I started this video, but I think you can see it pretty good. And this is that clear, that clear uh, ice uh, club I was talking about right here. So, Snow Wolf Warrior. And then, this is one I threw together because I had a head and I had a body. Blizzle Wolf. This head actually comes from um, Flexor's body is the same as this guy. This comes from a blue Hercules, translucent blue Hercules figure. And this comes from, I want to say Dark Aemon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't exactly remember, but I gave him the Icy Club. So I think he looks pretty cool too with the blue. But I think he would look better, right? If I actually put him on the counterfeit crisis body or be the same body, but the Lord of Chaos Acromancer body. But that body is so freaking hard to find. And Fugazili's body. So hard to find that body. So I'm just going to let this guy go the way he is. Looks pretty cool though. So in last place, we have this guy right here. Right? Kind of a throw together, but still looks pretty cool. And I'm going to say... Third place, probably this guy. He is awesome. Oh yeah, by the way, they are releasing a blue for the next solo con. Blue, translucent blue wolf. Very freaking awesome. I would say number four would be this guy here. Number four, one of these two here. Like them both. It's hard to pick the wolves. It's really hard to pick one. But I'd say probably this guy, and then this guy comes in at number three. Number four, because I got six. So we have, I'm messing this all up here. See, I'm out of hand. All right, so we got six, five, four, Three, the original, probably because of the nostalgic value. I do like the way his head has all the paint on it, though. That does help this guy out. A little more paint detail. And I don't think the original had that, that, that paint right there down the middle, either. So that's pretty cool, right? So here's the next one at number three. And these two are very similar. Very, very similar. The one thing I do wish this one had, though, was a different color belt. Different color waist. Just to kind of set it off. Maybe black, red, something, right? So number two and number one. This is my favorite. Wished I still had. Wished I never got rid of the Paint Master. But at least I was able to get this one. But yeah, that Paint Master was next level. This is a production piece, right? You don't get the same paint apps. You don't get the same quality. You don't get the same everything as you do the original Paint Master. That was hand done. This one is done in a factory. But either way, I'm going to say this is number one. It's really hard to pick between these two. But number one, in my opinion... 
Zola World Wolf Warrior figure is the Grizzle Wolf. All right. So let me know which one you like better. Maybe there's another one I don't have. I think I have all of them besides the Flexors one. And then I got that blue one that I want to order for Zolocon. Um, but yeah, there you go, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Let me know which one you like the best. Number two, number three, whatever the case may be. But thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Hope you all have an awesome day. Until next time. Woo!